Hi guys, welcome to Lennox Benny channel. Hit the like button as you look at the main celebrity to the tree for item one, two, four. Select the word that let's complete each sentence. All right, let's begin, guys. So it says for item one to four, select the word that best completes each statement. Again, guys, if you know the answer, compared to students, just type it in right now. All right. So just the one A or type the word. All right. So smoke is to fire as cold is to rain. Go. Number two says, dog is to puppies, dog is to puppies as is it cow to kitten, sheep to kitten, cat to kitten, and that is cat. Whisper is to shout. So basically, you can see that it's opposite, right? As sleep is to, if you're not sleep, you're wide awake. All right, so that would be A. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. So just join in. Hit the like button. I don't know what's happening. My device, my device is tripping, man. Right? All right, so let's move on to number four. Hot is to cold, as far is to, and that would be near. Move on to number five. It says for item five and six, select the word that is necessary. It's a necessary component of the word in bold. All right. So the word is sandwich. So what do you need to make a sandwich? You need tomato, lettuce, meat. I'm gonna go with bread. Can put anything in that bread there, right? Cheese sandwich. All right. So oats. Is it the balcony, the kitchen, the roof, the stairway? And I'm going to go with the roof. Kitchen necessary, do you know, guys? The kitchen necessary. Who will have to cook? All right, let's move on. So for item 79, select the word that does not belong in the kitchen. All right, so you have your microwave, your refrigerator, your blender, and television. I'm going to go with television since all of these are kitchen appliances. So I'm going to go with television. That does not belong. All right. So you have orange, pineapple, mango, carrot. All right. So that's what I've got. It's a fruit, fruit, fruit. So it's a carrot, it's a vegetable. All of them can make juice. I love it. I love it. I love all of them. Sorry. Let's move on to which number is this? Yes, this one. Number nine. Sure. All right, we are at number nine. So we have passengers, stadium, spectators, customers. All right, so passengers, spectators, customers, stadium. I'm gonna go with stadium. That does not belong. All right. So that would be B. Type it in the comment section first, first guys. So we need you need to, you guys to be on top of your game for exam. Exam is very near. Let's go, let's go. So read the passage, read the passage carefully, then answer item 10 and 11. The first green monkey was brought from Africa to Barbados more than 300 years ago. They got everybody in the Caribbean Barbados the same way. Trinidad, Bahamas, uh, now the monkey are in danger. Now the monkeys are in danger because of men. The monkeys often attack fruit trees and birds, so farmers shoot them. Also, there is less and less woodland on the island because it's been cleared for buildings. She's so sad. This means it's more difficult for the green monkeys to find places to live, so they have to move into farmland. The mongoose does more damage than monkey. It was brought to the island a hundred years ago to kill rats, which are damaging the sugar cane. Now that the rats are under control, the mongoose have started to kill the mammals, reptiles, and birds. All right, so let's read again. The first green monkey was brought from Africa to Barbados more than 300 years ago. Now the monkeys are in danger because of men. Monkeys often attack fruit trees and birds, so that the farmers, so the farmers shoot them. 
Also, there is less and less woodland in the island because it's a few cleared for building. This means it's more difficult for the green monkeys to find places to live, so they move on to farm land. The mongoose does more damage than monkey. It was brought to the island a hundred years ago to kill rats, which was damaging to the food. Now that the rats are under control, the mongooses have started to kill other mammals, reptiles, and birds. All right, let's see what the question asks us. It says, Oh, it says, fewer, is it all that mean the same as under control? Fewer mean the same as under control. Have increased means the, have increased means the same as under control, or C. So you have to choose which word, which word would you use, guys? Is it all that means the same as under control? Fewer means the same as under control. And that would be B, fewer. Number 11, what is the right the most concerned about? A, is it the rats are in danger? B, the monkeys are in danger? Or is it C, the farmers are in danger? Or D, the mongoose are in danger? It's actually the mongoose or the mongooses. The picture below shows the step involved in baking a cake. Use them to hide the item 12. All right, so let us put up that. What should you say, guys? What should you, which order would you say? To bake a cake. So there we have the orders. Which would you do first? First, you would need the ingredients. So tree is at the front. Next, you would mix them, so that would be A. All right, so let's move on to number 13. Which of the following options give a logical sequence to the step involved in the like But I just did that. That was A. I don't know why it... Um, it's not underlined. I think I have any wrong question. All right, let's move on to 13. Identify what comes next in the sequence. Okay, so you have to identify what will come next. I don't, I can't see this word properly. But I'm thinking it's food. All right, so you have seed, plant, basil, and then fruit. These are leaves. These are always leaves. It's not true, probably. All right, let's move on to 14. Examine the words closely, then place them in a logical sequence. So you have belt, leather, cow, skin. So which would be last, which would be first, and so on, the particular order. Basically, they say how oh, they make belt. So first, they kill the cow, skin him, get the leather, and then you make a belt. So whenever you have a belt, just remember how died for you to have your belt. <laughs> All right, let's move on to 15. The English words in the bold are from an artificial language. Beside each word, it's a meaning in English. So this fills the cup means fill up the cup. That means blue cup. That means land fill. Which word would which word would mean fill bottle? And that would be A. All right, let's move on to 16. So Matt, soon come, guys. I know you guys are waiting for that. For item 16 to 18, select the most appropriate word to complete each sentence. Yesterday, I learned how to blank flour to make fried dumpling. 
So that would be need, and it's not this need, but the K A E A. All right. So guys, please ensure that you read the questions carefully. All right. Let's move on to 17. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day because it keeps the brain blank and boosts blood sugar levels. And that is sharp. All right, let's move on to 18. Normally, was given a blank of bamboo earrings for her birthday. Okay, so it's a pair. All right, this is pair like a Trust me, but this now would be pair, like two. All right, so it's pair. This is the pair way it is. All right, let's move on to 19. To our false. Or cannot tell. Okay, so it's either true or false or cannot tell. Let's move on to passive word. Let's see. Pizza passage one. The history of pizza begins in the distant past when various ancient cultures produced basic flatbreads with several toppings. First pizza was probably made by Italians. Modern pizza development in Naples, Italy, when tomatoes and toppings were added to the flat bread in the late 18th century. And passage two says, Bami is a traditional Jamaican cassava flat bread, descended from the simple flat bread eaten by the Tainoins, Jamaica's original inhabitants. Bamis have been consumed long before the Columbus came to Jamaica. It is made from cassava flour. It is believed that Bami was first prepared and eaten by the native Tainoids. Let's see what they ask. They say the Tainoids played an important role in the development of pizza. Now, the Tainoids played an important role in the cassava, the bami. All right, so that would be false. But don't mix up the passage now, guys. All right, pizza and bami have similar beginnings. Is it true, false, or you cannot tell? That is true. Right. So the month started. So the month's here now. So the month's here now. Oh, you ready to rumble? Yeah, it says for 21, select the number comes next in the sequence of the numbers below. Alright, so first let's just examine these. So we have 6, 12, then to 20, 26, 34. And then forty. All right, so let us examine what is happening. All right, so let us see. They add six to this. Then they will add eight to this. Okay, I see it. So they add six to this. So they're gonna add add eight. So it will be forty-eight. All right, so twenty-one would be. Let's get ready to rumble. Alright, 22 now. The numbers in each diagram below follow the same rule. Use the first three diagrams to help you find the missing number in the fourth diagram. Can I already see the numbers? Alright, so you have 2, 5, 10, 4, 7, 28, 8, 9, 72. What times 11 give you 132? That will be 12. All right, so this is 8. All right, so our answer for that would be 12. Let's move on to 13. A pattern. A pattern is shown below. Look at the first two rows in the pattern to help you 
work out the missing number in the third row. So we have six. I'll get six over seven. Is like one. So 14. That would be 14 over seven. Because it is basically I put it over seven, right? So that would be two. Andrew represent this shape below. Andrew presented the shape below on a chart. Okay, okay, let's see what's happening. All right, so it's basically saying which of these would be the bar chart for these. So guys, I'm gonna small it up so you guys can see. Type in the answer for now. And is it chart one, chart two, chart three, or chart four? Type it in. Which of these charts represent? All right, let us examine it. So we need to count because one represents one. So we have one, two circles. So the one with two circles. This not have two circles. So we can eliminate this. So we have more than two circles. All right, so this have two and this. Oh, so it's, it's actually this. Right, let's see what else. Um, triangle one, two, three triangle. It's of three triangle, yeah. And the square now one, two, three, four, five. And it's of five. All right. So this would be chart four. Let's see which which answer. And that would be T. So dig it up again. Let's so dig it up again. Dig it up again. It right uh, button if you're just joining. A survey was done and four degree six students were asked about their favorite sport. Full information was gathered. No more than 10 students chose volleyball. More students chose football as their favorite sport than the number of students who chose volleyball. More students chose track and field as their favorite sport than football and volleyball put together. So more students choose track and field. So track and field should be the higher proportion. Let's see. All right, so it could be this or this. So let us examine it now. It says more students choose football than volleyball. So that means here it says more students choose football. So football should be greater than volleyball. So it's definitely this one. Is chart three, so that make it to be a C. Let us see. So that's C. Let's move on to what number are we? Twenty six. I don't know what's happening. Just here. I think it's kind of faded. So I think these are shaded one, two, three, four, five, six, and these are not. And then and then you have two shaded. That's what I'm getting from this. So let us do it. These two are shaded. Right? Basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a six over here. So three quarters are shaded, and a little quarter here, right? And then, so you don't have the little portion here. So it's very close for C and D. That's because it's this portion, right? So it's two out of eight. So that's about a quarter. So I'm going to go with C. It's not very clear though, but. All right, let's move on to 27. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. Share with a friend. David is twice as, old as, twice as old as Rachel. Peter is five years older than David and Kevin. And Kim is three years younger than Rachel, which represents the older of the children by age from the youngest to the oldest. All right, so let us go. 
It said David is older than Rachel. So we could start with the older. So Rachel, I did not say anything other now based on what they say. So David is older than Rachel. We know that. He told us that. So we put in that information. We might have heard about a bit, but let us see what's happening. Peter is five years older than David. So Peter is older than David. Kim is three years older than Rachel. Oh, see what they're doing, you know. I think I have to put the age difference there because it can be a little bit true. Alright, I think I have to put the age, guys, because I think if the age is going to be a factor, that's why the space is going to be like this. Alright, so let us just put the age difference there, because it's going to be that type of thing. Alright, so you have Rachel, I'm just going to use RAC. Alright, so I said David is twice as old as Rachel. So these are two times R. Peter is five years older than David. So we have a plus five years. So we need the numbers because it's going to come in handy. David is twice as old as Rachel. Peter is five years older than David. And Kim is three years younger than Rachel. So, oh, so Kim is the front name. It's, it's a giveaway, guys. It's a giveaway. So basically, it will be this. Kim, Rachel, David, Peter. All right, let's move on to 28. A box of 12 light bulbs fell. Some of them are broken. Which of the following numbers could not be the number of unbroken light bulbs? And that's easy. Since it's 12 bulbs, it can be... Wait. The numbers 1, 2 to 10 are placed in a bag. Paul picks a number from the bag, then perform the operation stated under the column A and column B on the number. So column A, the number multiplied by itself and then add 1. Column B, double the number and then subtract 1. From the information given, which statement is true? The number in column A is greater than the number in column B. The number in column B is greater than the number in column B. The number in column A is equal to the number in column B. Or is it B? The answer cannot be determined by the information given. All right, so let's say, guess what? Then pick a number. Let's go again. Pick a number from 1 to 10. Pick the numbers from 1 to 10, right? Power picks a number from the back, then perform this operation. Let us say any number, it doesn't matter. Number multiplied by itself, then add 1. Let us say they pick three, for example. Uh, so double the number. No, it said multiply by itself. So that would be three times three plus one. So the value will be 10. I'm assuming it's the same number. So you double the number and subtract one. Okay. Have to be the number in column B equal to the number in column B is greater. Let me see the number answer. I think for any number, it would probably be double. Let us check our next number. Let us try, try two. Let's assume it was two. A square two plus one. I'll give you a five. All right, so you add two plus two. Minus one, I get four. So 
that means the number will always be in column A will always be greater. Not, uh, not necessarily one. What if it was one? Let us say the person choose one. I don't think they thought about this question. Let us say you choose one. You multiply one by one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then add it to itself. Yeah, that will give you two. Right, watch out now. Add one to one. You get two. Okay, you have minus one. So, yeah, this one is true. The number will always be greater in column A. Guys, you have to do a little trial and error and test it, alright? Right, this one says no. The diagram below shows two rectangular box with stripe ribbon wrapped around. Okay, cool. Box A, the ribbon is wrapped vertically around the box, which I can see up like that, right? And for this one, it says the ribbon is wrapped horizontally around the box. Same dimension, but they wrap different. Let's see what they want us to do. So can we check with these questions? Read them carefully, all right? It says, given that the boat box is of the same dimension, which statement is true? The ribbon on box E is longer than the ribbon on box B. Is that correct? The ribbon on box B is longer than the ribbon on box E. C, the ribbon on both boxes are equal in length or D. The answer cannot be determined from the information given. Okay, so it's not the dimension they give. It's not the dimension. They only give the dimension. All right, so guess what? For this one, you are go by six. So you go by six, six and six, twelve. All right, so this dimension, you go so six, twelve, you go six across. No, the height is six, right? So what the measurement from here to here? Oh, that's four. All right, so you go up now, six, the next side of six also, and then you go cross by eight, right from here to here are four. So you double that, that's eight. So that ribbon here 20. All right, let's just see now for this one. It's the same thing. From here to here is four also. Oh, it has go across. Oh, Lord. All right. All right. Sorry. I missed something. This has go so. So this is 8 and 8, 16. And then when you go so, 4 and 4, 8. So the length of this ribbon has to be 6 plus 8 or 24. So that means that B should have a, a, have a longer something. The ribbon and box B is longer. Yeah, that is correct. All right. Because remember, it was so versus so. So this one, I go by six. Because this height is six. And then the next side, I go be six. So that gives you 12. And then you go so, it's a four. But this one, you go so. So this is eight. The opposite side, I go be eight also. So it will be eight plus eight. I just want to this a person to understand. And then now you go four. So four and so again another four. Anyway, take it. Box B of the longer ribbon. Pick up on yourself. Hit the like button, guys. Thirty-one. The diagram below shows a parallelogram PQRS. Which of the following represents the greatest length? All right. So that you have PQ, which is this, plus PS, PS. So it will be this and this. All right. Next one now you have one if all of them are plus. I'm hoping that that that's the case. PQ, which is this plus SR SR. No, that's sharp. So we can eliminate this already. 
QR, which is QR plus QR plus PS. Yeah, that's at least one of the leads so far. Let's see the final one. QS, which is the diagonal, plus SR, plus SR. Balande, balande, balande. All right, this one was PQ, which is this, plus PS, PQ. All right, so this and this, that's not the language. So we can't eliminate this. I'm gonna go with C. So it's QR, which is this length, plus PS. So these are two long lengths, the others are short. All right, so QS, let me, see Q, let me just double check QS. QS, which is a diagonal, this is the longest and it overall, but it plus SR, so this and this. So these two would be the longest. So that I'm gonna go with C. All right, 32. K estimated the number of people in the stadium to be 32,000. Which of the following numbers could not be the actual number of people in the stadium? K estimated the number of people in the stadium to be 32,000 flat. Which of the following numbers would not be the actual number of people in the stadium. 32,050, 32,100, 32,487, 32,976. I don't even get what they actually say. So I'm thinking that it's wrong to talk to the nearest 100. So I'm going to go with you. And that will be 93. All of these, I could round it down, right? That's the pattern I'm getting right here. So I'm going to go with B for this one. I don't know what kind of question that is. Then this is number on the page of his book. Page one is right and page page two left one. What's, it, what's the significance of that? What is the significance of that? Let us, let us let's see the information. Page one. Is right and the right hand side, which is this. Page two on the left hand side. So if you start on one side, the next page of a big page. So the first one, block. All right. Which two pages will feel, will face each other? Ah, ah, ah. Damn, this is good. This is good, Pep. This is good. All right, let's go. Yo, literally a page. Literally, no, 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 no. All right, so, so two and three are going to face each other. We have to follow the pattern. Two and three, then you have four and five. Because guess what? One, the first part of a blank, you see? All right, so five and six, no, five and six, six and seven. There's no other way we can look at it. So on this It says 22, 23. So 33 would be B. Kelly wants to find out how many Jamaicans, how many Jamaican wonder kinds will cover the surface of her book. What information is necessary for her to make this decision? Kelly wants to find out how many Jamaican wonder kinds will cover the surface of her book. A, the number of pages in the book. B, the number of coins that fit along the edges of the book. C, the thickness of the book. 
بی تو در نمباب کنید یا چی هست So Kelly wants to find out how many Jamaican one dollar will cover the surface. And let's cover the surface. Really. See that you have the book kind you're gonna put kinds on it. Like so. Let's see how many of them will cover it. Or you, or you just check the edge like this and then say, all right. If you have 10 across and 20 across multiply that and get I'm gonna go with B. But I don't fully get what they're saying. Makes no sense. Stupid question. Alright, let's move on to 35. Chuck shop sold three different types of snap over three weeks period. The table below. Table shows the quantity that was sold and the amount of money you use this information in table to answer question 35 and 36. In which we did the talk shop of the IS sales. Alright, so one eight and twelve. We one hour. Eight and twelve as twenty twenty-five items sold. Twenty-four that's easy. Alright, so this would be Week three, the most item was sold in week three, which is 22, 30. You make more money. Then. All right, so that's out of the way. Let's move to 36. Which snack had its unit price change in week three? Which snack had its unit price change in week three? Is it the potato chips, the banana chips, the plant chips, which is my favorite? Right, let us see. Which is it? So we're gonna check the banana chips. So twelve banana chips was sold, and you get two parts. That means a twenty dollar one. Let me show you how to get that. So just divide, right? Oh, this supposed to be two. I have four chips. All right. So basically. So twenty dollars. Let us check how much for the banana and chips in week three. So it's a banana chips. Thirty was sold. But yeah, banana chips. We're not gonna throw that guys. It up to the banana chips. Which one banana chips is there? Oh banana chips are big. Look at it, I choose the right one. Alright. So in week three it was sold for ten dollars. Thirty seven, the diagram below shows how Paul spent her earnings in one month. So you have transportation, savings, food, and your bills. So half of your bills are to this. <laughs> I hate being an adult so much. I want to be a child again. I can't hardly see the money do. Oh, this is the money. I used to pay sixteen thousand, four thousand, I used to pay two thousand so and I don't know what is I forgot to report this guys. If father spent three eight eight if father spent eight thousand on bills for the month, about how much money did she save? Oh so these are the savings. Alright. So eight hundred and this so this is this portion which is half yes our four thousand oh, this is half for this right you can see the right one this looks like two thousand two thousand so yes i must be two thousand so definitely two thousand are the answer all right let's move on to 38 a boat as a crew of five people it can carry a total, it can only carry a total of only 16 people. How many chips would it need to make to carry 75 passengers on an island? So when they say crew of five people, you know, guys, you know what I'm trying to say? It's different, right? 
So that 5 is there after going on. So it's about 16 plus 5, which is 21. So it's about 75 divided by 21. That's what I'm going to get here. So you can only carry 16 people. And this is a question that makes no sense. A boat has a crew of 5 people. It can carry a total of only 16 people. Oh! Unless... It, oh! So what am I saying? It's not saying that they can carry the, the 16 people plus the 5 crew members. It has a total of 16. Alright. So a total of over 16. So if you need to carry 75 passengers, basically it's gonna be 11. 11 them can carry. Alright. So that means our five trip. So look at the So your first trip, in terms of people, the man carry eleven people. Second trip, because guess what he said? He said, "Man, if I try this, it won't be easy. I can carry." So that's a twenty-two. Third trip, thirty-three. As I only eleven people you can carry for a passenger. So a crew of of the five, every the sixty-five people every time. So I just eleven. Per trip. So in order to carry them personally, you have to get us a video. Fifth trip. So two of you guys get the point out. Fifty five. Six trip. Sixty trip. Sixty six. Uh, so a seventy people, seventy five people, right? So it's about take seven trip. Yo, well done, well done, well done, well done, Pip. This one, this one was a good one. This one was a good one. As in the, initially, I was thinking, yo, just say you can carry 16 people and then the, the five, but then after it makes no sense. It can only carry 16 people. But in order to carry 75 people, you have to make seven trips. As I 11 per trip, then basically I'm not. All right, let's move on to 39. That was a good one. Okay, uh, this is this. So this is me, June, July, August. Right, let me just fix that first of all. This is really good though, guys. I'm so sorry about the quality. And I should have gone through it and just see what's up with it. Next one, I will definitely do that, all right? Which statement is true? More rain fell in June than July. More rain fell in June. Which one of them represent the rain there? More rain fell in June than July. All right, so it's very rain fell here. That's one. Yes. Yes. July. Oh, June, June are the greater one, yeah. See there? June beat July, yes, sir. June beat July again. So that's that year. Alright, this will be the final one. So, oh, see my number of parents. Let's link me up so we can prepare a strand for the curriculum base. A bag has a certain number of red, blue, and green marbles. Half of the marbles are red. There is the same amount of blue marbles as there as green marbles. Which of the following could not be the number of marbles in the bag? All right, so let's just see this one. A certain, oh, 
that would be this. Can be add number. All right, so guys, my number here. Um, link me up to the curriculum base. It's coming up shortly. Um, it can be a part of my class. It can be a part of my past people preparation marathons and stuff. See my name there. Just WhatsApp me. All right. This is the last minute. I'm out. No doubt. See you guys in another video. Pick up on yourself, peeps. All the best. I'm out.